Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Dragon Quest VIII. I have just had, the, like, the biggest panic attack of my life. That's a little bit of an exaggeration, but I was still very worried because my game was not loading. It would not recognize the save file, and I was like, oh no. Oh no. Uh, however, going back to a previous version of the emulator seems to have fixed it. Thank the gods, because I was, as much as I love this game, I would not want to have to redo that. So, uh, yeah, we're okay. I'm just going to have to make sure I save multiple times now. Uh, and we're going into Alexandria, finally. Here we go. Ah, oh, That's so peaceful. Oh god, these two. Oh no. Halt! Who goes there? These freaking kids, man. Don't waste your breath, scoundrels! I can spot bandits a mile off. Well, I mean, you're actually half right. This is for Alistair! Come on, Mash! Let's get him! Mash? Uh and Alistair, we've actually heard that name before very recently. And yeah, you're not you're not uh, imagining things. These kids are called Bangers and Mash, which is the best combo of Prepare names ever. And yeah, they're they're gonna actually like we legit have to fight them. We have to murder a couple of kids in this new town that we've just got to. I'm not sure this is a good way of making uh, a great first impression. But we got to defend ourselves, you know. I mean, look at these guys. They look—they look like they mean business. One of them's got a got a pan on his head, guys, as a helmet. All right, that's pretty badass. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna have to murder him. It's a shame, but we got to do it, man. We got to do it. What on earth are you two rascals up to now? Stop it at once! Ah, you mean we don't get to kill some kids? Where are your manners? That's no way to welcome travelers. God damn it, old lady. But yes, uh, even though that, I mean, they have, or at least one of them has a decent uh, bit of equipment there, a sword and a, an actual helmet. No! Ooh, then again, it doesn't, doesn't seem to have done much to protect against a slap. Ow! <laughs> oh. Didn't Miss Jessica ask you to run an errand for her? And here you are, playing around. Uh, I forgot! You'd better run along before Jessica finds out. Yikes! Yikes! Yikes forever. I can't do a little misfortune voice, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. They don't mean any harm. You sure? Because they had... They were about to, like, attack us with actual weapons. It's just that our village has been through a lot lately. Ask around for yourselves. You'll see. Okay, well, at least you're very welcoming. There's nothing wrong with the place, mind. It's a lovely village, really. Make yourselves at home. No, oh, it is a lovely village. I love this place. And I know, Mage, you love every place that you go to in this game so far. And I guarantee you, my friends, I will say that sentence quite a few times during this playthrough. <clears throat> But it's true. I just, I love, I love everything about this game. Ah, but it is nighttime, so like, there's no one really about. The shops are closed, of course. Uh, but that's okay. This place isn't too big either. There's really not much to it. But there is a well that we will check straight away. And you know what? I actually haven't done any tests. I probably should have done some tests. Oh crap! There's nothing down this one. Ah. Oh. That's lame. There's nothing worse than a well in a dragon quest with nothing down in it. Ugh. Anyway, kitty. Nice pond. Master Alistair came from an important family, but he never lo lorded over us. He always guarded the village for us, you know. What a terrible waste, a lovely boy like him be being killed like another person's been killed. What is the world coming to? Damn. 
That sucks. He sounds like he was a nice guy. Is this the inn? Because I, I wouldn't mind resting at the inn. In fact, no, this is just someone's house. We just wandered in. Kids sleeping. I'm guessing that's the dad. Right in front of the front door, too. Isn't that weird? Like, yeah, come on in. Oh, I'm in your bedroom now. Okay. Maybe a snoring. <laughs> va va voom. In interesting. Okay. Very interesting. Let's smash your pots, lady. Thank you for the herb. The jewels in the eyes of the Alexandra statue are so beautiful that you sort of lose yourself in them. The Alexandra statue, you say? Anything in your wardrobes? 11 gold coins, okay. That's it. So obviously this family isn't too rich and we just stole what is probably their entire life savings. Jolly good. And you know what, since we are in a new uh, village here, let's see what Yangus has to say about the place. Everyone here seems a bit down in the dumps, don't they? There ain't no sign of Dalmagus about, though. Maybe something else is bothering them. Maybe. Prob probably the death of this Alistair chap. He does sound like he was pretty cool. Now, what I'm going to do... Actually, this is, this is a genius plan. I'm going to go save at this church... So that I have an actual, like, legit save file, and not relying on save states. And then I'm going to, uh, cut, and I'm going to check this footage to make sure that it's actually watchable. Uh, that sounds like a plan to me, but let's chat to these people first. I'm a peddler. I travel about selling my wares. I came through the western checkpoint to get here. It was very strange. It looked like it had been broken open by some kind of terrifying force. I wondered what, I wondered what it was. Hmm... Master Alistair's father passed away so, uh, although he was still young, he was the head of the Albert ho uh, household. I just can't believe this has happened. I dread to think how his poor mother and sister, Miss Jessica, must be feeling. Oh. Okay, not very good, I'm guessing. It must be hitting Miss Jessica particularly hard. The pair of them were always inseparable. Well, this game's rather sad so far, isn't it? Dear Goddess, hear the- <clears throat> Dear Goddess, hear the plea of an old man. Please let the Alexandra Day pilgrimage go ahead this year. Fills my heart with joy seeing this beautiful angles- <laughs> Seeing the beautiful angles of the statue of Alexandra. And the voluptuous curves of the statuesque Miss Jessica. This dude really is Master Roshi. Creepy old pervy man. What brings you to our church in the dead of the night, child? Uh, I really, really need to save. Um, also, I do need to find an inn. I'm sure there must be an inn somewhere in this village. But uh, we'll save now. Yes. Because, as we've seen, I hadn't actually saved properly <laughs> yet. So, let's do that right now. And that slime uh, hourglass. Very cool. Do, 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 do. I would like to continue my adventure. But, uh, like I said, I will be right back. Okay, all seems good. Let's continue. Just had to check. I do not want to record a whole video and then be like, Oh, but the microphone sounded like shit, or you didn't set it up right, so the, you were actually recording... Uh, Barbie horse rider or something. You know what I mean? I don't want to have to redo stuff. But anyway, let's explore the rest of the town while it is nighttime. I just think it's so serene. And again, I love games where they have different music for different times of day as well. Uh, one of the most recent examples of that for me was Xenoblade Chronicles. They had tons of different uh, music tracks in that based on whether it was daytime or nighttime, and I really do. I think it just adds something. You know, nice and... Because, you know, it's quieter at night time, isn't it? So the music should be quieter. And, oh, it's just lovely. And this is the inn. Cool. So we'll check that out in a minute. Anything behind these cabins? 
No. Let's go inside this one. Isn't that just a little bit creepy? I, I don't know. You just walk into someone's house and they're just sat there, staring at you, without saying a word. It's, I mean, it, again, we are completely trespassing here. We were not invited in, although the door was open, but still, a little bit creepy. I don't understand. Only people from our village are supposed to be able to open the door to the Eastern Tower. So how did the killer get inside? Oh, well, we know what the tower she's on about because we've briefly visited it. But we couldn't get inside. Everyone's saying it must have been a thief, but I'm not so sure. Hmm. We only go to the Eastern Tower once a year on Alexandra's Day. A holy day when there are no monsters about. Oh, really? It's still quite a way off, but my father's already down in the dumps about not being able to go this year. What if that was the old chap we just spoke to? Uh, yeah, that that's interesting though. There's no monsters about on Alexandra's day. Do they, did they get the memo? Do they get told? Like, listen, it's a special day for us, guys. Monsters don't don't attack us. Just for this just just for 24 hours, please. Chimera wing. I don't know. I don't know. What are you what are you doing? Listen to this! I just saw a man at the Albert Mansion claiming to be Miss Jessica's fiancé. How can a slimy looking character like him be marrying her? I just don't believe it. It can't be true. Someone's jealous. And uh, I'm telling you right now, I do not blame this guy. But look at this mansion. What a mansion. This is amazing. Can you imagine living in a house... In a house like this. That'd be freaking sweet, dude. There seems to be a grave out here. I wonder if this is Alistair's grave. It, it certainly is, and that is, again, super freaking sad. Uh, nope, nothing at the side of the house. Okay. I'm guessing this chap isn't going to let us in, <clears throat> considering it's probably like 3 in the morning. This is the Albert family mansion. I'm afraid I can't let you in at night. You have to come back in the morning. I thought so. And we might as well speed that process up by going and staying at the inn. Because Mage definitely needs a heal. I'm not sure about Yangus. Oh, this looks like a lovely establishment. <laughs> those, is that how those buff dudes snore? He's probably dreaming that he's weightlifting or something, I don't know. Miss Jessica was always following her brother around, even when she was really small. She can seem a bit tough, uh, a bit of a tough nut at times, but deep down she's actually quite timid. I look forward to meeting her. Now, in this version of the game, she's actually going to have a different voice actor. I'm not sure on the specifics of why, for this version, they... I, I think she, the original ac actor, retired or something, and there was... I don't know, maybe there was legal issues, but yeah, she's got a new voice in this one. I don't know if I've actually heard it before, and it's probably going to be a little bit weird for me. But, you know, it's... what can you do? It's a quarterly journal called King of Adventure! Newsflash, you can get different information from the same people depending on whether it's day or night. It's like a town has two faces. And remember, the things you hear may not sound particularly important at first, but you never know what may come in handy later on. This is so freaking true. So, again, I'm glad that we arrived here at night time. Because now we don't need to go talk to everyone. We've already done it. We can chat to them in daytime. Oh my, oh my god. Chat to them during the daytime. English, it's difficult. Welcome to our inn. Four gold coins, again, absolute bargain. And here we go, this is the full scene. What are you working on, Trode? You're hammering away there. What's he doing?
So again, slight variation on the music here, sounds a little bit different. And everyone's woken up. So, let's go chat to everyone again, just to see if they do have any interesting tidbits. My dad says the woman uh, says that women like Miss Jessica are really va va voom. What do you think he means? I wonder if I can be a va va voom. Uh, not for a not for a few years, I'm afraid. Ah, uh, yeah, saying the same shit, buddy. Lame. In fact, I bet that guy's gonna say the same shit too. Um. Yeah, there's not actually many items around town, is there? I'm just walking all over the cabbages. Don't mind me. The heir of the great Albert family, Alistair, was murdered over in the Eastern Tower. I reckon it was the doing of some thief. In there after the statue of Alexandra. Hmm. I wonder. Hello there, travellers. Welcome to Alexandria. Down Magus? Hmm. Sorry, I've never heard of him. Alright, well, let's check out the shops. Let's see what they've got. I don't have as much money on me right now, and, of course, the inventory at uh, Port Prospect was better, I'm guessing. But we'll still check it out. Welcome to the armor shop. What can I do for you? I would like to see what armor you've got. Durr. Uh, leather kilt, scale armor, scale shield. Um, obviously, we've already bought one for Yangus. I am kind of tempted to get one for Mage as well. But we might, because we've got a dungeon coming up soon, so there might be stuff we can find for free. Uh, even though, yeah, that scale armor would be a very nice defense increase. I think we'll be fine. I am tempted by that leather kilt, though, as well. Hmm. I shall hold my horses for now. And weapon-wise... Okay, yes, yeah, so he doesn't have the Iron Lance that we could have got. He does have the Stone Axe, though. But that's nowhere near as good as the size we bought. Okay, no new Boomerangs. Just Copper Sword, Giant Mallet, stuff we've already got. Okay, so yeah, as I thought, this town doesn't really have too much of interest for us, apart from the armor. And, uh, oh, we're gathering around the well. I wonder if there's going to be anything down there during the daytime. Probably not. Still saying the same stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're saying the same shit. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing this well won't have anything down it, but... Nope. Okie dokie. Back we go. Let's go check out the mansion, see if he'll actually let me inside now. <laughs> I just... I want to live in this world, man. I just want to live in this world. Is that too much to ask? Come on. Oh, have we got a, a maid? Welcome to the Albert family residence. That's the grave of poor Alistair Albert, who passed away just recently. He was such a kind young lad. No, I wonder how old he was. He was probably not very old. Look at this. I've always loved this house. It's just so good. There was never any need for a guard here in the past. I was hired just after Master Alistair died, so I'm still quite new here, really. That doesn't mean I'll be putting up with any shenanigans, though. Make sure you behave inside the mansion, do you hear? I'll, I'll be good. I'll be good. But I will also probably loot everything that isn't glued down. Let's check out the uh, the West Wing. This is a show I've never actually watched. I've heard it's good. Is that the one with Martin Sheen? I don't know. Nothing in the cupboard. Can't read the books. Ah, the kitchen. Or more like the laundry room. Yeah, it looks more like a laundry room. Although, then again... No, that's probably a stove. That's definitely a stove. And there's a fucking chef right there, mage, as well. It's kind of a giveaway. There's a secret door. 
uh, of, this is, oh, there's a secret to the door of the Eastern Tower. Only people from our village know how to open it. But Master Alistair found it open one day. Um, found it open one day. I, why am I saying that so weird? But Master Alistair found it open one day. There we go. <laughs> that's, that's better. That's why he went inside to find out what was going on. Oh, dear. And then someone or something attacked him and... Oh, it's so unfair. That really sucks. We found a piece of cheese! And five whopping gold coins. What do you fucking do? I saw them, you know. Miss Jessica and her poor mother arguing like cats and dogs. What were they arguing about? I don't rightly know. I don't rightly know. Something about revenge, that's all I could gather. Well, yeah, I would assume. If it has been proven that there was a murder. Pretty sure I'd want revenge too. A dining room. To be honest, I never really liked Miss Jessica all that much. Uh, don't tell anyone I said so, though. It's just, she's never very friendly to us house staff, and she's always arguing with her poor mother as well. But I do sympathize with her now. I mean, her only true friend in the world was her brother, and now she's all alone. That sucks. Although she should be nicer to a frickin' house staff. Oh, you travelers? What a life that must be! I wish I could leave all this behind and go off myself. <laughs> oh dear, listen to me. If the mistress heard me, I'd be out of my ear. Then I'd have no choice but to travel. That's true. That's true. Can I have some bread? I actually would really like some bread right now. I'm kind of hungry. I've, wo I've just woken up, uh, which is usually the case, and I have not had any breakfast. Right, let's check out the second floor. Oh god, this guy. This fucking guy. Look at- look at him. Look at him. I mean, have you- have you seen his hair? Never mind his attire. Look at his hair, dude. Ha ha ha! Congratulations! You have the great pleasure of meeting I, the world-famous poet Lorenzo. Not only am I the son of the Chancellor to a large and prosperous kingdom, but I'm also the lovely Jessica's fiancé. Yes, that's me. She lost her brother recently. Oh, so I came here today to comfort her, but I seem to be faced with an unexpected obstacle of our love. There are some brats in front of her room who won't let me in. Ah, the sea of true love is strewn with the flotsam of despair. But I shall crest the waves of adversity and find harbour in my lady's bosom. You are a twat, but I also uh, am, again, quite jealous of this guy. Just like the other chap was. Because, uh, yeah, trust me. Uh, I mean, y you can see Jessica, alright, in my layout. I don't know why I'm acting like, oh, I wonder what she looks like. It's, uh, you can fucking see her. But, um... Yeah, that guy's a douche. I don't like him. And look, it's bangers and mash. And who's this lovely lady? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Rosalind Albert. That is a really nice name. Sadly, my family is currently in mourning. No one is permitted to set foot outside the house. I'm afraid that my daughter is less than happy about this arrangement and has confined herself to her room. She's even asked those boys to stand guard at her door. I'm sure I don't know what's going... Uh, got into her. Well, she's probably feeling a lot of fucking grief. Everyone processes things differently, but again, that's a very... Um, like, to me, that's a strange custom, you know, being locked inside the house in mourning. I know it must be a thing for certain cultures and things in history, but still... Uh, a book entitled Cheeses of the World. Best book. Best fucking book. The world in which we live is blessed with an astonishing variety of cheeses. Some of them have even more astonishing effects. Spicy cheeses that will have you spitting fire. Cold cheeses that refresh as they chill. And it goes without saying that they all taste simply wonderful. Cheese is tasty. Cheese is healthy. Cheese makes everything better. Cheese makes the world go around. 
Honestly, I don't like that many different cheeses. I mean, I'm definitely not a blue cheese fan, but you know, a good bit of a good bit of cheddar. I'm very boring. Or a bit of Lancashire crumbly. Oh. It appears to be a book about the history of the Albert family. The history of the Albert family begins with Alexander Cranbartle, a gifted sculptor, skilled swordsman, and capable magician. Damn, he was a jack of all trades. Alexander was a truly unique individual who left his mark on history in a variety of ways, fully deserving his reputation as a great sage. Oh, interesting. His descendants reap the benefits of a prestigious and noble bloodline. They would do well to remember that they have a responsibility to uphold the high traditions of their ancestry. That's a good bit of history there. That's actually very, uh, very interesting. I shall say no more. Uh, let's check out this door before we go try and see Miss Jessica. Anything I can pick up? Oh, more wardrobes. Well, the cupboards, really. They're not wardrobes. They're not got clothes in them. Oh, pfft. I, just, I say that and I get some clothes out of one of them. That was absolutely amazing timing. Wow. Uh, Wayfarer's clothes. I uh, we've already got one of those, haven't we? We already got one of those. Uh, yeah, it's not good for any of us, but uh, who knows? We'll... You may find someone else who might have use of it. Doo -doo. Right, before we go this way, actually, I'm going to go quickly try and uh, get in Jessica's room. Oh, it's you! I'm sorry about before, but not sorry enough to let you through here. I'm under orders, see? Jessica said she doesn't want to see anyone, so I can't let people through. You look a bit like thieves to me. I bet you are. I'm never wrong either. Sure, you're not fucking panhead. Hmm. All right, so we ain't getting through there. Angus, any ideas, pal? Oh, you're saying the same thing. Okay. All right. So yeah, the party chat in this one isn't as like nowhere near as extensive as it was in Dragon Quest V, which is uh, the game I played just before this one. But I still want to check it every now and then. Oh, hello. What are you doing up here all by yourself? Oh, look out! It isn't safe here! What? What's up? Just look! There's a mouse! I hate mice! Why do I have to deal with it? Oh! Uh, you might not want to look in our pocket then. That looks more like a rat to me. Ah. See, see, did you see it just now? I did, I did see it just now, and I'm just gonna have to quickly go uh, <laughs> close my door a second. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Uh, it's, yeah, I did see that mouse. Oh, what am I going to do? Jessica's room is on the other side of that wall. Oh dear. Oh no, she sounds so upset, man. That's insane. Uh, and Jessica's room is on the other side, you say. Ooh, if only we... If only we had a way of getting through that tiny hole, right? I mean, if only one of us was a mouse. Hmm. But first, we have many, many things to break. Don't mind me. Just, uh, just looting your attic. It's perfectly fine. Ah, Seed of Magic. Very good. Now... Does the Seed of Magic increase MP? I don't remember. It must do, it must do. Yes, it does, okay. Now again, I do have some seeds I've not used, but for now, I'm gonna save them. In fact, I have quite a few. Um, let me sort my bag. Right. Smash all these barrels and then see if we can figure out a way of progressing. Do, 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 do. Mage searches the area around his feet. 
There's a hole in the wall. It's just large enough for a mouse to fit through. Hmm. Send Munchie through the hole? You're goddamn right. Yes, my friends. We are controlling the coolest motherfucking mouse on the planet. Munchie. I mean, look at him. He's got a mohawk, for God's sake. I remember the first time I did this. I was just like... Oh my god, best game ever. It's so cool seeing the world from this perspective. And uh, being as we are a mouse, we are kind of limited to what we can do, which makes sense. Um, and I just love Munchie's theme, which we heard very briefly at the beginning of the game, of course. It just suits him so well. And, uh, yeah, so let's go see if we can find Jessica. Apparently she's in her room somewhere. And, uh, yeah, we'll go go down the stairs or on the banister. In fact, can, can Munchie jump? I don't think he can jump, no. Which makes sense. I don't know, can mice jump? I don't think I've ever seen a mouse jump before. Then again, I've not really seen any mice up close. Um, okay, well, she's definitely not actually in here. Has she snuck out somehow? How the hell did she do that? She is nowhere to be found. It's a very lovely room, though. Uh, so, yeah, the, the, the camera zoomed in on something on a desk, so, of course, we have to go up the broom. I love this. Oh, shit. Okay, this this could be tricky. Come on, Munchie, you're a, you're a mouse on a mission. We can do this. Son of a bitch! Come on. I know I know it's a very narrow broom handle, but please. Son, of, really? Did I have this much trouble back in the day? Come on, Munchie, you can do it. Fuck off, Mun. No, Munchie, you're amazing. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be nasty to you, but come on, dude, please. <laughs> oh my god. All right, let's, let's overcompensate. Let's go to the left. Really? What is going... Why can't I do this? Why can't I do this? There we go. Right. <laughs> My god. I'm so sorry. It's a letter. Take it? Yes. Now, of course, you may be wondering, how the hell does a mouse know that this letter's important? Well, Munchie's a very clever mouse, okay? Don't you doubt the power of the Munchmeister. Alright, look at look at that fucking face. It's just oozing intelligence and adorableness. So, we have to get back. And this is where you'd be like, oh shit, I can't get up the stairs. I can get up this though. Aha. And yeah, I don't know where he's actually put that letter. I don't know how he's carrying it, but okay. That's such a fun little sequence. Right, let's read the letter. Oh no, hang on. Wasn't this... I'm sure this was voice acted in the original. I'm pretty sure I remember... Jessica's voice reading this letter out loud. I wonder if they didn't re-record uh, re this one for some reason. I'm not sure. Anyway, I don't know who will find this letter, but please consider it my last will and testament. What? For by the time you read this, I will already be gone. Whoa, no, 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 what's going on? I'm going to the tower in the east. I will not return until my brother's death is avenged. Mother, I'm sorry for the damage I've caused to our family's reputation, but this is about something far bigger than tradition. I must follow my heart, no matter the consequences. Please forgive me. And to Bangers and Mash, I'm sorry for lying to you. I hope you'll forgive me as well. Signed, Jessica. Well, this is, uh, this is a turn up for the books. We should probably tell someone, right? It sounds really bad. 
Anything to say about the letter, Yangus? I wonder what this Jessica Bird who, who wrote that letter's like. And what about that mouse of yours, eh, Gov? It's got some nut on it, innit? <laughs> it's got some nut on it. It does. Talk about clever. Yeah, it's super fucking smart mouse. Mm-hmm. Right, well... I'm afraid... Oh, Rosalind's not there anymore. Uh, oh, and the fiancé dude's gone as well. Guys, she's not in her room anymore. Yeah, she, I know, she's not in there though. What? She's not in her room? Ha! I knew you were dodgy from the first moment I saw you. Don't think you can put one over on me. There's no way she's not in her room. So prove it. You can't just say something like that without proof. Are you a complete thicko or what? Uh, well, I've got the letter. Lady Rosalind and this bloke called Fancy? Uh, no, Fran Francie? Uh, fi fiance? Fiance or something have gone downstairs for lunch. I wonder what kind of things the Albert family eat. Probably food. Like, I don't know. Bread? Soup? Meat? Vegetables? Uh, but I think... Oh, are you going to stop me from going through that door? They're eating at the moment, so I'm afraid I can't let you in. Well, shit. So, actually, now I think the game wants us to go to the tower, does it not? Yeah, they won't let me go. Okay, right. Yeah, I think that's probably the, uh, the best course of action. Now, I don't know if we can actually zoom to the tower. Because we've already been there, but... I don't think it counts as a zoom destination. Uh, we can try. Oh no, we can! Oh, excellent. There we go. Saves a bit of time then, doesn't it? Oh, I, lo I love this place. Love the music. It's so good. No, and again, we we can't get in. Seems to be locked. So, I, you know what? Actually, I don't remember how to progress right now. Because in my mind, I remember certain scenes happening, but I don't know what order they happen. Hmm. What if we just try and leave? Or maybe I... You know what? I think maybe I have to show them the letter. Because I... Yeah, I think I have to show them that... Some, somehow I have to show them the letter, maybe? I do not remember. It has been so freaking long. Oh, this zoom spell's such a godsend, though. My god. Definitely recommend getting that as soon as you can, chaps. And I know a lot of you have, have, have some opinions on what builds I should go for. Um, I'm really just gonna go again with what I feel I fancy. I'm, I'm gonna try scythes, because again, I think that's something I didn't do last time. Um, people, Some people want me to do swords with a hero. I'm probably gonna end up doing both spear and swords, but probably gonna focus on spears first. And since in this version of the game there are extra characters, I'm gonna be able to use more uh, weapons, so I don't really want to spoil anything, but just bear in mind that, yeah, we, we have more options available to us in this version of the game, because there are more characters to use, so that's cool. But anyway, yeah, how the hell do I... Hmm. It's weird that we didn't automatically try and show them the letter, though. Let's try again. Thank you. Okay, why didn't it why didn't he give me that option last time? What the hell, man? Yes. I don't know who will find this letter. Oh, there we go. Now it's okay. But please consider it my last will and testament, for by the time you read this, I will already be gone. 
I tell you what, that doesn't sound very different. They got some... Wow! That really... That does sound like her original voice. I mean, it's not exact like, exactly like it, but it's... That is uncanny. I am going to the tower in the east. I will not return until my brother's death is avenged. Mother, I'm sorry for the damage I've caused to our family's reputation, but this is about something far bigger than tradition. I must follow my heart, no matter the consequences. Please forgive me. And to Bangers and Mash, I'm sorry for lying to you. I hope you will forgive me as well. Signed, Jessica. I tell you what, yeah, that sounds a lot like her original voiceover. I'm pretty pleased with that. What? A, a letter from Jessica? No way! You're lying! She's been in our room the whole time! So how could she give you a letter? I love, I'm sorry, I love how dopey Mash looks. I love his expression. I don't know. It sounds sort of real to me. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll check her room. But if I'm right, you better leave and never come back! Got it? Wow, that's pretty extreme, but okay. What if I say no? Well, tough luck! I'm checking <laughs> anyway! Don't you move! <laughs> <laughs> hey! She is gone! Yup, what a surprise. There you go. This is definitely Jessica's handwriting. But if she really did go to the tower, she'll end up just like her brother, Alistair. This is bad. This is really bad. You've got to do something. We've got to get her out of there. You. This is partly your fault. How? How is any of this my fault? So... Open the door to the tower. You go in and get her. Got it? Not if I say no. Oh, he what? looks mad. C come on, you have to help. Uh, okay then. Okay, we've got to hurry to get to the tower. Go left down the path. I know, I've already been the there. Village. Already been there. Bangers joins the party. Yeah, he's actually, he's not going to fight with Listen us. He's a little kid. Whatever you do, don't let Jessica's mum find out where she went. Yes, sir, bangers. Yes, sir, bangers. I love these kids, man. Good. Come on. We've got to hurry. Playing guard, you know. It's, so, it's such a kid thing to do, man. I uh, We've all done that kind of thing, dressing up. Wearing armor, using pots and pans and toy swords. It's all good, isn't it? Oh, I wish I was a kid again. Anywho, right, now we now we can go back to the tower. And I don't know if we're going to get a chance to go through much of it today. As much as I... I mean, I do... I like to make these videos as long as possible because I'm only uploading them every other day. But I also don't want to go halfway through a dungeon and then stop. So... Yeah, I did smash these parts, didn't I? Pretty sure I did. Yeah. Right. We'll head to the tower anyway. And... See if, uh... See if bangers can open the door for us. You know what? Hmm. We're level 9. That's pretty good level. That is a pretty good level. I was just wondering if maybe we wanted to fight some stuff on the way there, but now nah, we'll just zoom straight there. And, uh, yeah, so he'll he'll open the door for us, and then we'll probably do this dungeon next time. But what is the secret to this door? How can we possibly open it? Wow, we made it! Jessica's in there! Now, let's get this door open! It's a special... 
special door, you know. Only the people of Alexandria know how to open it. Really? Go on. Give it a try if you don't believe me. I've already tried it twice. But okay, I'll I'll humor you. No matter how hard you push or pull. See? Told you. Only Alexandrians know how to open this door. Oh, this is an emergency. So I'll show you how to open the door. But you have to promise never to tell anyone. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Open Sesame! Ah, uh, very clever. Pretty cool, eh? <laughs> it opens from the bottom. <laughs> I, I, I've always... I don't know why that line has stuck with me. The way he says it. He's so, he's so chuffed with himself. He feels like the cleverest little shit on the planet. And it is, it's a pretty nifty trick. I would not have thought to have tried to open it from the bottom. Look at him, he's so pleased with himself. Well, this is as far as I'm going. I'll head back to the village now. You help Jessica. I will. I will. I will find her if she is in here. I still don't know how she escaped, though. Like, how did she slip out of the house? Or the village without anyone seeing? Because, again, you've seen her, right? She kind of sticks out. <laughs> like, literally as well, because... Anyway, uh, thank you for watching everyone. I don't know, if this was a shorter video, I do apologize, but uh, I'd rather do this dungeon all in one video. So that's what we're going to do next time. Thank you so much. I can't wait already to get back to this game. I'm loving it. Oh, it's so good. And uh, yeah, we'll attempt to find Miss Jessica and hopefully save her from whatever fate uh, is in store for her. So yes, thank you. Please do take care of yourselves, chaps. And uh, look forward to the next one. Bye-bye for now.